Welcome back to Extreme Carpology. Last time Dr. M left you a little in the lurch, having been through step one, matching each of the 16 flowers with its family. Step two is probably what you were really waiting for, which is when you match the flowers with the fruits and seeds. So let's get on with that now. Here they are. All absolutely beautiful, all absolutely fascinating. 16 fruits and seeds. Okay, the first one here. Uh, very characteristic spikelets. So we're in Poesi here. We have quite interesting spikelet triads where we have a central fertile, fertile floret and two outer sterile florets. This is Hordium. Wall barley, Hordium murina. The second one we're down to uh, small kidney shaped seeds. If we look very closely, there's a very uh, intricate reticulated pattern uh, on the seeds. Um, these are seeds of Caryophyll lacy. This is a rather magnificent, rather magnificent Salini coronaria, the rose campion. Not a native species in Britain, this is grown in gardens um, and occasionally escapes from the gardens into the wild. Number three, these are characteristic achenes, quite characteristic of the Asteraceae. There's a little pathos of bristles here. Uh, these are the achenes of Centauria nigra, the black neckweed. Number four, very large seeds, and we've got a characteristic scar here. This is called a hilum, H-I-L-U-M, and this is a scar uh, the point of attachment of the root to the legume. Uh, the, the pea pod, this of course is the pea family, and this is this year father, uh, one of the types of broad bean. Number five, we can see some seeds here. These are a bit like apple pips, but the key um, feature here are these capsules which have uh, ten. Valves. This is the linaceae, and this is a linum usitatissimum that blacks. Six. This looks like a wad of cotton wool. Actually, the, um, the cotton wool uh, are the um, airy plumes attached to the seeds, and these help with dispersal. The seeds are very small. There's a few of them around here. This is characteristic of the willow herb family, and this is Camerian angustifolium, the rose bay willow herb. The seven large rose pink fruits here, ovoid fruits. These are fruits of uh, magnolia. This is magnolia macrophylla, big leaf magnolia. My students collected these seeds from a, a nice specimen grow in the Harris Garden at the University of Reading. Obviously not a native species in Britain. So the lovely big leaf magnolia, magnolia macrophylla. Number eight, we're back to spikelets here. Um, and what is characteristic here is that we have these hairy glooms. Each spikelet is subtended by two pair of glooms, or two glooms. And in this uh, plant, they're hairy. And all together, they make this very, very hare's tail type. In fluorescence, this is the hare's tail grass, Lagerus ovatus. Number nine, we're back to Achenes again. We're back in the Asteraceae, we have slightly larger pathos of, of brissa like hares. This is the, these are the Achenes of Centauria cyanus, the cornflower, a oh, spectacular plant. It's rather rare in the wild now, um, but very often grown. Um, in uh, seed mixtures. Uh, number 10, small seeds, kidney shaped seeds again, uh, with a uh, rather fine particulate pattern. But in this case, these are from the poppy family. This, this is Papaver somniferum, the opium poppy. Here are the uh, opium poppy capsules. Uh, you can harvest opium from these. Grow in the right conditions, but uh, in Britain, this is grown either as a garden plant or for poppy seeds, which are used in baking. Number 11, um, 
more hairy appendages. In this case, we've got the achenes here, and these are long hairy appendages are an extension of the style. And this is in the ranunculaceae. This is Clematis fitalba, old man's beard, and the old man's beard is made up of these um, extended hairy appendages. Number 12, these are as, uh, the nuts uh, of cannabis, cannabis sativa. I'm sure you've never tried to grow those. Or if you have, you've been only growing them uh, to make delightful rope from the hemp plant. Then we have number 13, rather spectacular fruits here. These are merry carps. Uh, with these uh, extensions all around the outside. This is very much a characteristic fruit of the Apiaceae. In this case, this is Artedia squamata, the crown flower. Again, not a native species in, in Britain, but often grown for its spectacular flower, or I should say, spectacular inflorescence here. Number 14, large seeds again with uh, a scar, a hyland scar. So we're in the pea family again. This time we're with the white lupin, Lupinus albus. Number 15, we have here um, fruits which are a cluster of hard nutlets. And this is characteristic of the amaranthaceae. Uh, this is Beta vulgaris. And our last fruit is um, again Merry Carps. We're in the Apiaceae again. Um, and in this case, we have uh, Merry Carps with uh, primary and secondary ribs. And these are winged with a row of barbed prickles. And these aid. Uh, in dispersal, the fruit actually attaches to the fur uh, or skin, so this aids dispersal. This is Dorcas muricatus, one of the carrot species not native to Britain. This is found in the Mediterranean. So that's the final lineup 16 flowers, 16 fruits, and seeds. And that all goes to make up the world's first extreme botanical party game, extreme carpology. So how did you do? Well, if you go to drngoeswild.com, you can find out how to convert your score into your CCI, the Carpological Capability Index, which will be an indicator of your carpological prowess. Um, but if you hang on a bit, uh, we'll show you just how it's done.